Just a quick note before we start this video, um, I basically was tried to go through the cloud storage and we'll get to that in a second but um, a few things in this video happened to me and I made a few mistakes and assumptions of the way something used to work and then it didn't work or whatever and I thought it was kind of funny so I'm just gonna leave it all in there um, it took me two days to record this because I had to research and then the ending of it um, I recorded just now so uh, I could sh demonstrate what it was I was trying to demonstrate when I was caught by surprise that it didn't work and I ended up losing my save files for Sonic Team Racing and Savage Planet rest in peace but uh, I did it all for science I hope you guys enjoy the video and please stick around to the end because it'll answer all your questions I promise and if you have any more just leave them down below and uh, without further ado, yeah, here we go. This is going to be fun to edit because I haven't started that yet. And I'm, I'm going to do that now. All right, thanks. What's up, everybody? This is Scratch, and I got a quick video here for you. This is like take 500, so hopefully we get it. We are going to take a look at cloud storage on Xbox Live and how it works with your games. Now, I know in another video or the video you may be coming from, um, I talked about cloud storage and cloud the cloud, Xbox Live in the cloud uh across the whole system so that's save games um, your profile your settings downloading profiles to other xboxes all of that this is only going to be for games and your save games so you're gonna learn today how to manage your save games both on your console and in the cloud and it's a little bit different uh, from the 360 if you're familiar with that and I'm assuming that this is going to be the way it will be moving forward um, on the Xbox Series X when that launches so we're going to use Team Sonic Racing um, to demonstrate this. So let's just jump into it. We have, uh, let's see, if we go here, we can see that I'm on stage 4-1. This is my progress in the um, team race uh, mode of the game or whatever. And you can see that I've got some stuff unlocked and I'm all the way up to stage 4-1. So if we press the Nexus button, go back out here to home, I'm going to press the menu button again. That's like the little start. And we're going to go down here to manage game and add-ons and we're going to come down here to save data now you can see that the data that I have here uh, there's just one file and let's say I want to delete that because I want to use my cloud storage or whatever like because you're trying to figure this out so this will explain it we're just gonna go straight through and I'm gonna do this and hopefully I don't screw it up because I'm gonna lose all this if I do so delete all it says delete all save data for Team Sonic Racing on this Xbox. Now that's the important distinction. On this Xbox, any synced data will still be on Xbox Live and any unsynced data will be lost. Well, how do I know if my data is in sync or not? Well, I know that I'm on stage 4-1 and I know that the save that I just looked at when we were um, in Sonic Team Racing, I know that that's that this save file is my is my save file. This is the good one. But I also know that I am currently connected to Xbox Live while I was loaded up into the game. So the fact that I'm connected to Xbox Live means that that data is in sync. It's constantly checking back and forth when you when you boot up the game or whatever. So barring any network interruptions or um, you know where I was offline but didn't realize I was or something like that, um, this is pretty much in sync on Xbox Live. So I can go ahead and select delete all and my save data is gone. The data that I was on level 4.1 is no longer on this Xbox. So let's boot it up and see what happens. Okay, so we're back in here on the main menu. So I'm gonna click on Team Adventure once again. And when it boots up, guess what? We are all the way up on stage 4-1. Now you're probably thinking, how's this possible? I'm trying to start a brand new game. I'm trying to start completely over. I want this gone. Well, if we come back here, you can look. We're going to do the same thing. Press the menu button. Go back to manage my games and add-ons. Well, look, it's back. Why is it back? Because I was connected to Xbox Live when I booted up the game. It said, hey, is there a save file on Xbox? And it said, no. It said, well, okay, well, let me check out on Xbox Live because Xbox Live is over there. It says, let me check on Xbox Live yep there's one here it's the sync data from before and I'm gonna download that automatically don't have to tell it to do it don't have to do anything other than just connect to Xbox Live and the save file that's in the cloud comes down so let's 
go down here and now we'll check out the different options. So if I click on the, the save file itself, now I have delete from console and delete everywhere. So choose whether to delete the data on this Xbox console or everywhere, if you didn't figure that out already. Deleting everywhere will permanently delete all of the data for this game and app, game in this case, on this console and on Xbox Live. That means it's gonna wipe it completely, it won't have a save file, and then there won't be anything in the cloud backed up because it's gonna just take them both out right now when I click on delete everywhere. And then there's also a warning letting you know that if the game or app shares uh, data across different platforms or editions of the games or whatever, that you may lose um, some of your stuff in those if you choose delete uh, from everywhere. This is going to be for games that only access live or whatever the case may be. It's just kind of a warning. Most games are going to have a save file on the console that just gets backed up to the cloud. And that's basically how it works. You can't really manage the cloud um, in terms of like your save file because it's just a backup. It's just an automatic backup of whatever's on your console or any console that you connect to. It's going to sync the data down to that console. We're going to demonstrate that in just a minute. But first we have to delete from everywhere. So now, mm, now I hope this works. Now my save data is completely gone from both Xbox Live and this console. So now what happens when I boot up Team Sonic Racing? Let's find out. Okay, here we are, moment of truth. Um, this is after delete from everywhere. We're gonna click on Team Adventure and it's gone. I'm not on level 4-1 anymore. Everything is completely gone and it's starting me at the very beginning. I don't have anything from my old save. I deleted from everywhere, so it's gone off Xbox Live and it's gone off this console. Completely gone can't get it back it's gone okay so I'm back another day I researched and looked at what I did to, and I watched some old footage and this used to work just a little bit differently so I guess rest in peace Sonic and Savage Planet save files but I'm gonna show you uh, what happens uh, now and then I'll go on to explain it but in this scenario I did not get it recorded but in this scenario, I played here on this console in front of me uh, in my studio, and I was I played Foxy Land, and I got to like level six, and I played online. So that means level six is on the save file online, and then I simulated my internet going out by just unplugging the Ethernet out of the back of it because Team Ethernet, and I don't use wireless. So I unplugged the Ethernet out of the back of my Xbox One X, and I continued to play to like level nine offline so that saved my local file on level 9 and my live file which I couldn't connect to because my internet was down uh, was on 6 so then I simulated like going over to someone else's house whether it be you know a parent or you know a friend or something like that and I played on another Xbox so when I booted up Foxy Land on that console it downloaded automatically um, when I was up to level six, but I did get a warning saying that it took a while for my uh, console to my other console to link, you know, or whatever. Do I want to just download what I have? Because um, it knew that my internet went out, so it, it knew that it, it might not likely be um, the latest one. So then I played on that and I got up to like level seven. So and then that saved to live. So now I have mismatching uh, live save cloud and. A mismatching console save cloud because that save file was created from another Xbox if I had done that on the same Xbox it would just use the local save file and update live when I got back on but because I progressed further on a different Xbox this is what happens and I'm sorry I took so long to get to that but this is where it is and I sign in <clears throat> it's syncing the data from the cloud now this is where this is what I expected to see when I had a save file on my other one for my earlier scenarios, but it doesn't work. If you select delete everywhere, it is going to delete it everywhere. And as soon as you sign into a console that has a save file on it, it's going to delete that because it is deleting everywhere. Previously, it used to ask you this and only did the delete everywhere like on that console on Xbox Live, but now it nukes it everywhere. Um, However, if you just play offline on one and then progress again on another one, this was where it's going to ask you uh, which one. And this one tells me that 
do I want to play on this console, which is an older file, or the newer file is on Xbox Live? Now, in my personal case here, I know that I got further on Foxyland when I played at home when my internet was out than I did when I went over to my friend's house. So then this is where I'm going to get this warning from. So in my case, I want to select the older one, but you might want to select the newer one if you remember the last time you were connected to Xbox Live, um, which file you know gets you further. So in my case, I'm going to select the older one. You might select the newer one from Xbox Live. You just need to kind of remember or know what your progress was in that case. So in that case, I'm going to select the older one. And then as you can see here, I'm all the way up to just before uh, level 9 where when I played on the Xbox Live version when I was playing at the other house I hadn't gotten this far. I knew I didn't get as far as I did when I was playing um, online in my simulation of course. So that was a way longer video than I had anticipated but it does explain everything you need to know about it so just a quick recap is if you delete from everywhere it is going to delete from everywhere. That means everywhere gets deleted. If you have different save files, like the mismatched save files on here, um, then it will prompt you and say, hey, which one do you want to use? And then it's kind of up to you to know uh, which one you played offline. If you were further when you were offline than you were the last time you played online or whatever, and you kind of have to know. Apply that knowledge to your scenario. Ask me questions down in the bottom. I realize this is confusing and I'm, I'm going to have a fun time trying to edit this. So I'm going to try to edit it down so it makes more sense. But thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave it there. Um, thank you to all of my sponsors and my members um, who graciously donate to me each month uh, to help make this possible. I mean, I definitely appreciate um, all that they do uh, for me. It's they're they're too kind. So uh, links to the, all of them down in the description if you want to check them out and um, And thanks for all of your engagement and your comments and everything like that If you guys have questions or anything like that, like I said, just leave a comment down below and I can either answer it or make another video or do a demonstration or whatever you want to see Give me your scenarios. I'll recreate them here and we'll talk about it um, Other than that, I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching Okay, moment of truth. So we're going to press A to start and we're going to load into the game. And we're going to click on single player. And it's still an empty slot.